Hi and welcome to this quick video overview of the RevTrack and Jira integration. The integration is performed via bi-directional REST APIs and is very flexible in its capability. This video just shows an example of how it could be set up, depending of course how your organization operates. So here I'm just going to create a new Jira ticket and we're calling it uh, Platinum Update GST Quote Add-on. So as we move the request to in progress, the integration kicks off and will generate automatically a RevTrack request. Here we can see the RevTrack request number is number 230. Moving across to RevTrack, we can navigate to request number 230 and we can see here is our automatically created RevTrack request and that's done as we move it to in progress. Uh, we might add some further information we can see that this was actually meant to impact VAT and GST. So adding to a description here, when we move across to JIRA, we'll see that is reflected. So now we can go on and perform our SAP activities on the RevTrack side. I'll make a change to the system here. I'm going to be working on request number 230. And of course, we use RevTrack. We can see when we refresh that, we can see the technical tab now has that transport, including the view cluster maintenance data that was entered. So now I'll trigger the migration to the QA system. In the background, the transport's being released. We're doing some safety checks to make sure that, of course, this transport is suitable for releasing and suitable for migration to the target system. On the SAP side, we can also have a look at the logs. And that was very quick. We can see that the importing to the queue system has already occurred. Refreshing that, we can now see the transport is in the QA system. And that was automatically approved based on the return uh, code of the transport, and in this case, it was a successful return code. When we perform the testing, we can approve our testing complete steps and mark this change as ready for production. Back on the JIRA side, we can see that the request status is updated and kept um, up to date inside of JIRA. This could in theory also update the request status in um, the JIRA ticket and we can see this has been updated automatically to tested. The other thing we can do at this point is assign it to a fixed version. So in this case I'll try and put it on Platinum V2 and that actually will reflect in the RevTrack release management workbench. So when we refresh this we can see inside of Platinum V2, which is a, a release, we can see this RevTrack request has been added here and our GST and VAT updates are part of Platinum V2. We might decide we actually want this to be part of RevTrack Platinum V1. So I'll drag and drop that across. We can see it's now included along with a few other changes on version one. And when I go to save that, of course, we're told what has been changed. Looking at the release request, we can see inside of the planning, here's all of the changes that are included uh, in this release, including the GST and VAT quote add-on. And we can also see in the technical tab, all the transports from the underlying change requests are now part of this release. Okay. Back on the Jira request, we can also see we've now had the version and fix updated to be Project Platinum V1, and that'll take effect in all of the Jira side reporting. Back on the release management workbench, uh, we can have a look at that release and trigger the go live, which requires a cab approval for production, and then the technical migration of all the transports. We can see all these transports have now been queued to P75, which is why they're in a blue um, color next to each transport. And as these transports complete their imports, this will all be updated. We've also got some reports such as the migration log 
which will show the status of these imports. And we can see we're just waiting for that last one, which is currently in progress. That now seems to be complete. So when we return to our RevTrack request, or sorry, the release request, we can now see all of those transports that are successfully imported into the production instance. And we can now see that's also reflected on the uh, transport logs for that particular transport. The release management queue will show that the RevTrack request changes have now also moved to a status of complete. And of course, this is reflected on the JIRA side. And we can see the RevTrack request status is now complete. And this can be closed on the JIRA end too.